Heroes send off for the Oran basketball team. Eagles will play Salisbury tomorrow night in the Class 2 state semifinal in Columbia at 640. But the rich history of the Eagles program, legendary. Before the summer of 1969, there was the March of 69, and those were the best days for the Oran boys, unbeaten and playing for their first state title. But as Josh Friedman tells us, the way that season ended became the biggest headline of all. I got a lot of memories. Inside Oran High School, you might mistake the scene for a class reunion. We won't never forget that game where we wrote. No. <laughs> But it's basketball that's brought these folks together to reminisce around a trophy case. Tell me who 44 was. About a team and a game they watched 44 years ago. In 1969, the Oran boys squad couldn't be stopped. And the town of roughly 1300 was at a fever pitch. It was just the most exciting time of our life. It was a highlight of high school. Coached by future Three Rivers College legend Gene Bess, the Eagles rode an unbeaten record to the state championship game in Columbia's old Brewer Fieldhouse. There, they met unbeaten and heavily favored Dixon, led by future NBA player John Brown. It was a great ball game and brings back a lot of memories just thinking about it right now. But Oran did more than hold its own and trailed by just two with 12 seconds remaining. That's when Fred Johnson went to the free throw line for a one and one. What happened is I shot the first free throw. And he was waiting for the crowd to settle down to shoot a second free throw. Which I thought, I, I, you know, after thinking about it, I might have took more time on the first one than I did the second one, but I didn't get a chance to shoot it. When the referee blew the whistle and took the ball away from him, saying he took too long a time to shoot the free throw. Johnson was called for a rear 10-second free throw violation. Oran lost by two. The video of the free throw is edited out by Misha, but the Dixon radio call still lives. 574. He takes his time. He takes a deep breath. And it's going to be too long as the line. Dixon gets the ball. Dixon gets the ball in. Fred Johnson took too much time. I've lived this stuff for uh, 44 years now, and I guess I'll continue to live it because I don't want to die, so I guess I'll keep living it. Though the video went dark, the newspaper reports clearly made light of referee Gene Barth's call. Just supreme disappointment. I think we got a bad call on the free shots. You know, you never know. We felt like we didn't get the best deal. Roby Legrand's son Rodney was one of the Eagles' stars on the 69 squad. Of course, I've played that ball game too many times, and I've never won it yet. <laughs> Even though Oren may have lost, the game put the small town on the map. We got more publicity this way than if we'd have won it hands down. Now 44 years later, the Eagles are soaring back to Columbia. Not intent to change history, but rather make their own. I wanted to be up there and I wanted the chance to lose on that call, but I guess I'm going to get that chance now. So It's going to be awesome. I mean, we worked hard to get there. The only thing to do now, I guess, is just to win it all and maybe ease some of that pain from the free throw that never was. Josh Friedman, Heartland Sports. And now Josh will be in Columbia for the two-way state semifinals tomorrow night, 640 against Salisbury. We will have the coverage for you. We'll be right back.